Mm. Hi, beauties. <sighs> so good to be here with you. I'm just going to take some deep breaths, invite you to join me. Hmm. <sighs> wow. 2018. What a journey we have been on. What a wild dragon ride. So I wanted to talk a little bit about embodied feminine leadership and what that really is. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tara. Yeah, um, Leila and I have a retreat coming up in January in Bali, January 2019, can you believe, called Embody Feminine Leadership. And so I wanted to come and talk a little bit about what that really is, because I think, you know, that could be one of those terms that we kind of throw around in the conscious community and it loses its like you know, it's, it's depth and what it really means. So I want to talk about it and I'd love for you to be in the conversation with me. So please, yeah, please let me know like where you are in the world and what embodied feminine leadership is to you as we go through this conversation. So for me, I feel one of the things because there are so many things but a key kind of point of what embodied feminine leadership really is is the kind of the navigation the journey between navigating and the balance between being with what is right our emotions the layers of personal and collective healing and remembering that's coming through, coming up for all of us, while also staying connected and resourced and active in service to Mother Earth and the reconciliation of humanity's hearts, right? So it's like this balance of being with what is and doing that inner work and navigating all of the, you know, the ebbs and flows and the expansions and contractions, navigating life, relationships, and staying connected and resourced and active in our service, right, on purpose. And embodied feminine leadership is really about preparing the way, right, being a way shower, leading being the change that you wish to see so that others can know that it is safe to step out and be seen and to create their own life and the world in which they envision or they long for. And so many clients that I have and just women that reach out to me, you know, are, are wanting to make a shift in their life. You know, we all have some area of our life that we're wanting to transform, whether that is a relationship to money or to men or to women uh, or to, you know, how we relate to our bodies. So many women, in particular, there's one area that's coming up a lot which is actually around our purpose, around our job, right? And around being in service and not just surviving, but actually thriving, doing what we love, not do, just doing something to get by. And yeah, and really wanting to be able to be in service to the greater collective, you know, in our own community and at large. And so many are just confused and overwhelmed and in this kind of never-ending rat race, this loop of scarcity, 
really poisoned by fear and really in a freeze response. And when we're in that space, you know, it's like nothing changes. We're like on, on this loop and, and we don't know how to get off. It's like a, a roller coaster that we don't want to be on. And a gift, the gift of the feminine essence in her wholeness, in her empowerment, right? is the ability to first be able to be with the, the, the freeze response, the trauma, the stress, the what is, that is so deeply embedded in our nervous systems. And to, to really truly be present with that in this nurturing way, like a nurturing parent, to reparent ourselves so that we can feel safe so that we can feel safe in our nervous system in our bodies to actually unfreeze and to express the light of who we are in the world to you know truly move with our humanity rather than just override it or collapse into it in you know the state of depression and overwhelm to not be run by it but not to yeah dissolve in it to be with it and then to be able to move through it and create from that space and you know just like animals animals are this beautiful representation of the feminine energy when they experience a trauma and they they're alive they shake they shake and they move and they howl and they cry and they grieve it out of their nervous systems so that they're not just walking around with that trauma locked in they release it from that time and space so that they can actually move forward in their life you know and we we can do that and we can shake it out you know shakti style and move things from our bodies And, you know, really moving from the shadow of the feminine essence of the victim and into the empowered feminine as creatrix, as the creator. That's, that's like the gift of the feminine. To be with what is and then to be able to rise up and and create life create new worlds and you know as women we have this amazing ability absolutely like miraculous to create a human being in our own body and to give birth to that being and we have this ability to create anything that we envision desire want for this world for our own lives and for others to we we have that power men and women and whatever you identify as we all have that feminine essence within us we are the creator we are the creatrix and the feminine she creates her own worlds she envisions that and she moves and she creates it and she brings it to life she nurtures it to life and while it is alive and she, we hold in our feminine essence, in our embodied feminine essence, the greatest power in the universe, the ability to create. And you hold that. Whether you're a woman or man or any other identification, you hold this power. <laughs> I mean, just breathe that in for a moment. That I hold the power to create life itself. This is the power of nature. How is this? How is this like a reading for you guys? I'd love to hear from you. And so, embodied feminine leadership 
is actually being being the living vessel of actualizing your creations into form actualizing the creative power of love on the planet and that is the power that heals it's the power and it's the medicine that this world and every single person needs we don't need more stuff we don't need more things to do we don't we we need love we need the medicine of the feminine essence that heals our hearts it heals our earth it heals our relationships it heals our connection to our power to our sexuality to money it he heals our relationship to our higher power that we realize that we're not abandoned and alone on this like crazy desolate rock but we're here actually for a purpose to create to be the change that we wish to see you know being in right relationship with all things for your empowerment that is an embodied feminine leader An embodied feminine leader is knowing, knowing in your body, not knowing just here, not just a concept, but a deep embodied knowing that it is safe. It is safe for you to move forward now. And to do that from a place of filling up your own cup, you know, putting on your own oxygen mask first. Truly being self-resourced and resourced through connection to your community, to your sisterhood, to your brotherhood, so that we can truly shift paradigms together. That's what we're here for. we can't expect to live a life that we wish we could if we're not stepping into the unknown and actually creating the change we must become in every moment the possibility that we desire and long for the possibility of what we want to see out there what we want to see in the media, what we want to see in our community, what we want to see in our own family. And I have a question for you. Oh, Christina, amazing. I can feel it vibrating in my body as you speak. Mm, yes. Yeah, and I just invite everyone to just really, truly breathe into your body, breathe into the knowing that you are safe. You are safe. So I have a question. What would you do if you knew that you were always safe? Just breathe into that question for a moment. What would you do if I knew that I was always safe? What would I do? What action would you take if you knew that the universe, that love, that God, goddess, your higher self and your guides have your back, that you are so supported? Who would you be if you lived as if you could not fail? And that everything is always working out for your good. Who would you become if you lived like that, knowing that, that everything is always working out for your good and you can never fail? You are always safe. <laughs>
and supported. And what would you stop doing? What would you stop doing if you lived as if that you are safe, you are loved, you are supported, and you are here for the purpose of being a co-creatrix of heaven on earth? What would you stop doing? What is like totally not serving you, draining your energy, just not what you're here for, but you're doing it probably here out of, you're probably doing it out of survival, out of a fear. If you care to share, I'd love to hear. Embodied feminine leadership to me is being the shift being it not just talking about it not wishing for it not complaining that you know it hasn't happened yet or you had a shitty childhood so it's not going to be for you it's being the greatest source of compassion, compassion with passion for yourself to actively listen to what needs to be felt, what needs to be expressed, what needs to be reclaimed, and what wants to be birthed through you. You are the gift. You are the gift. <sighs> I need you. We need you. I want to see you be brave in your life. <laughs> to quote, what's that singer? Um, Sarah Borelli's, I think. I want to see you be brave. <sighs> Yeah, to truly embody the feminine leader, teacher, creatrix, healer, advocate that you are in whatever form that can take. There's no limit on what that looks like. There's no boxes with the feminine. You get to create it. You get to design exactly how you like it to be. So my invitation is come to Bali. Let's get you truly aligned, fill you up, get you resourced, loved up with like so much support of the sisterhood and soaring, soaring in 2019, truly being on purpose. No more rat race, no more like just living for survival. We don't have any more time left. You don't have any more time to waste waiting for your life. We don't have any more time to waste living on this sacred earth and not living the life that we came here for. This is it. There is a sense of urgency. I don't know if you feel it in your life, but there is a sense of urgency. The time is now. There's no more time for procrastination. Be with the fear, breathe it in, but come back to that question. What would I do? Who would I be? How would I actually live my life, spend my days, what leap, what risk would I take if I knew that I'm always safe, that I can never fail, that I'm always going to be supported, that I'm always going to have my needs met, even when it comes down to that little place where it looks like I'm going to be homeless or whatever other you know, worst case scenario it is that you're going to create. You're always safe everything is always working out for your good 
you know, it was, it was scary as shit when I left my regular, well-paying, stable job to go full-time into what my higher self was calling me into, into being a leader. And I had all of my, you know, feelings about that and all of my resistances and all of my, like, I don't have anything of value to share. And it was like, it's not about you. It's not about you. There's a much greater calling. You don't have to answer it, but it's what you signed up for. And we're doing it together. You're not alone. I didn't know how I was going to survive, let alone thrive. <sighs> Guess what? I'm still here. I didn't die. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. So human. <laughs> and so on purpose. <sighs> there are two more days left for the early bird price. Send me a message. Let's have a call. There's only a couple of spots left because this is going to be a really intimate group of powerhouse women. It's already powerful women. <sighs> and also, Layla and I are creating an online course for Embodied Feminine Leadership. And anyone that comes to the retreat will be getting that for free for further support through 2019 and beyond. So I... If, you know, if this is speaking to you, aligned for you, then I would love, it would be an honor to have a deep dive, real-time space in beautiful feminine motherland of Bali holding us and creating together, truly creating this paradigm together. You know, this is not a retreat for those that just, like, want to come and uh, consume this is a co-creation of us creating the reality that we just, you know, envision, feel, speak about to truly birth that together. Mm. Tammy, thank you for the reminder. Thank you for being here. Mm, thank you, beautiful women. I am just always so inspired by you all of the women in our community and the support and the leadership and the risk taking and the vulnerability. I appreciate you. I see you. I hear you. I love you. Please let me know how I can support you. And if you're feeling a, a tinkle, tingle <laughs> to, to uh, come to Bali in January, then we have two more days left for the, the early bird price. So send me a message and let's get on a call and see what's possible. Mm. I love you. I'll see you soon.